What's up, friends of the good boot? This is Money, and welcome to my own War Robots account right here with a very dirty trick at the Scorpion. And, uh, you know, a very secret ability or a way to play it <laughs> that will allow you to win matches sometimes that would otherwise be a loss. And only the Scorpion can do this, okay? So uh, it'll happen at the end of this match right here. And then there's gonna be a, a second match afterwards. And since it's at the end of this first match here, it allows me to uh, first go a little bit on the nerves of this Ravana right there with my Ansel Shield. And, you know, first and foremost, also explain to you guys that you can find the winners of the recent giveaway here in this video too. That's why it's good that it's near the end of this match. It allows me to first explain that, right? So, uh, you remember the 200 Titan self-fix unit giveaway? It's now over, and you can find the 200 winners in the Google document link in the video description and pinned comment, okay? All IDs are sorted by ID, so that should help you find yourself easier if you are among the winners. Fingers crossed for you guys, and please don't be upset, upset with me if you're not among the winners. There's so many people who want to win and participate, and I can only find 200 winners. And even that t takes forever to find, uh, because it's actually quite a large number. Um, so thanks at this point to Pixonic for even allowing these giveaways to happen. The next one, I can't promise it, but I'm trying to make it a 200 Hawk Robot giveaway. You see, you can tell how this guy wants me, man. It's still the same, it's still this guy, like he's, it's his second Ravana, I guess, or whatever. And he's like, at this point, why is this Strider still alive? <laughs> oh man, my little Strider on my own account, man, it's just hilarious. Uh, yeah, so I can't promise it, but I'm trying to make the next giveaway be a 200 Hawk Robot giveaway. I know that's something you guys would like to have. Um, but again, no promises, alright? Uh, at first, by the way, this match here looks like a win. It looks like it's all going good and, you know, we are in control of most of the beacons and it's all good. Uh, but this match, at some point, will turn around. It will turn around 180. And the only way, way to win this match later is if I do a very dirty trick with that scorpion, and I'll be showing you this in a, in, a, in just a few minutes, okay? Let's just first, you know, look like we're winning, and then we're noticing, oh, wait, actually, we're not. Uh, spoiler alert, by the way. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, what else is there to say? Yeah, check out the link in the video description and pinned comment, and see in that Google document if you have one, it in, in case you did participate in the giveaway. I think people have, uh, the participation was a little lower than usual during giveaways. Probably because not everybody needs a Titan self-fix module. Um, but I'm pretty sure everybody would, would need a Hawk robot. So, yeah, let's uh, let's hopefully try and make that happen. Look at this Fenrir here. By the way, I, I was experimenting a little bit around here with different settings, right? I'm not running the overdrive module on the Fenrir this time. I did it in the recent video episode, you remember the uh, instant win episode 1 where my Strider dashed around the entire map of Springfield in one jump and instantly capped the base beacon from the enemy and basically locked down the map entirely? If you haven't seen it guys, in the top right you need to watch this video, it's so much fun man. Seriously, also the feedback of you guys was amazing, so we're gonna continue with multiple episodes I've already made four more video episodes of this happen. I've already produced them. I'm not even joking. I've already produced four more episodes of the Instant Win a video series now, and it's it's gonna be hilarious. Um, but yeah, what else is there to say? Uh, I, oh yeah, by the way, I have a, uh, I have an Aochun! Woo! People were like, wait a minute, Manny, you have an Aochun now, and uh, yeah. You know me, I'm not the kind of guy who gets the, yeah, uh, who uses the most ridiculous stuff. Uh, uh, all the time, but I did think uh, it's time to have an Aochun because it was getting so on my nerves that people would be basically I could never take anybody out with a Loki. Lokis would just roam around and do whatever the heck they want and I can't do anything about it. And I was getting, you know, annoyed by this. So I decided pr pr primarily for the Lokis actually to get myself some robot that can counter stealth and there's nothing better to do that than, than the Aochun right now with the um, quantum uh, radar basically built into the pilot, right? I'm getting myself killed right here, but don't you worry about it, Marco. I'll, I'll take you with me, man. Um, <laughs> and I try to... See, at this point, you may realize that we're actually losing the match. Uh, we may It may look like a win right now in terms of beacon control uh, of the beacon bars, but take a look. They have a 4 to 1 beacon progress right now. I'm trying to turn this one around, but... There's a Titan and this guy and this guy on the beacon with me. All I can do really here is try and, you know, get get this leech out of the way. Then phase shift, try and fly again, but 
Of course, this guy also starts to fly, and eventually I, I'll, I'll just don't have enough HP to survive the flight. And yeah, so again, still, you can see very well here in this screen, my team is nowhere near really getting a beacon. We are like completely cut off. And uh, so I'm now jumping into my Scorpion. Um, I did. I think I did show you some gameplay from that. I won this guy in one of those box openings. And it's finally time to go and have uh, a bit of a Scorpion play. So my my goal is to make it to the center beacon and get it because look how fast my our blue bar depletes now We're really losing this match incredibly fast at this point and the only re way How to win this in my opinion is if we instantly to cap beacons like really getting beacons very fast But not even that works because I immediately have the Aochun the Arthur and this um, this Aochun on me right here. So the the um, the Aoming, the Aochun, and the Arthur. The only thing I can do now is a dirty trick, a very dirty play with a Scorpion, that like a secret ability basically. Instead of trying to kill someone from behind, I'm simply using the teleport to capture a beacon and not get my get my position away. So I'm not. I, I would die here now in the next two seconds, but I teleport behind the Arthur, and I simply turn around and walk away. And the Arthur has not noticed that I jumped behind him. And so we're turning this around and now we're actually having a 3-2 beacon progress. Okay, somehow my buddy over there captured the other beacon right there. But I couldn't know that before. I didn't know that was gonna, uh, he was going to successfully cap a beacon there. But this little maneuver right here uh, instantly turned the beacon progress around. And now I can spawn here with my Titan and lock the beacon tight. And this is the moment the match is won. And we would have probably lost this match without this maneuver. And without the ability to, to quietly teleport behind the enemy Arthur with a dirty trick. By the way, I'm not even paying attention to the enemy Arthur. Because I know exactly three shockwaves and he's going to be destroyed. I, I shockwaved him once and I knew two more and he's going to be done. So I may as well just ignore his physical shield entirely. Kill the other guy right there. Or try to. And, uh, and just... You know, drive by, kill him with a shockwave, and that's all I do at this point. Um, yeah, so that's better than shooting 2 million damage into his physical shield for no reason, right? So I don't know why, but I remember when I played this. I played this a couple of weeks ago, and now I do the commentary for it. Um, and I don't know why I just finished off Marco right there. I just, I think I wanted to do more damage, and then I realized, wait a minute, I should probably get him, and then the match ends, and I can't find, finish him off anymore. Uh, but... Both Titans would have now been destroyed. The Haichi didn't have a chance, and the Inquisitor, not neither. So uh, that would have been an easy, easy win against all those four enemies for my Arthur right here. Um, so let's jump into um, the actual beginning. Hold on, what the heck? Um, here we go. We're, we're starting right here, okay? And I'm having some fun with you here with a second bit match where I do a little bit similar stuff that I do in the instant win episodes. In case you haven't yet seen them in the top right corner of this video, I basically do these kinds of things here with a uh, with a um, with a Strider now and make some movement stuff that normally is very unusual. And the speed at which I reach beacons is unreal. Uh, and on this map, I literally jumped from our side of the beacon into the enemy base beacon and captured both their base beacons in one go. In the other episode, you need to check this out, guys. In the top right corner is the video. Um, but yeah, so let's just enjoy uh, winning another match a little bit similar to the instant win But this wasn't it didn't qualify for an instant win uh, Because it still took too long and uh, The enemy would also capture some beacons back and here and there and basically my input or my my um, My impact on the battlefield wasn't as huge and great as I wanted it to be, right? And the part of those, or the idea behind the instant win episodes is that my 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 contribution to the battle basically makes this win win happen. And and there's very little they can do about it. This is what the point of the videos is. And that's not quite qualifies here in this one. Although I did get their base beacon and this is already screwing really with them. This, this is like a hard screw up for the enemy team. But yeah, so my Fenrir, again, without over without overdrive, but the armor modules instead, almost 400,000 HP. Um, I personally, I must say, I favor the overdrive, by far. 
I like Overdrive much better. You lose 100,000 HP on it, which is a lot. 100,000 HP with high resistance on the Fenrir is a massive difference. You, you survive much longer with the armor module compared... Look! Look at this! Look at this guy to the right! I was, I, was I was watching this, and I was considering to spawn on that position, because I saw an enemy there. But then I saw, oh, it's all good, we still have a guy of our team there. But guess what? This guy didn't move in. He was just standing there. He didn't freaking capture the be He didn't walk in. Look, I was moving my mouse. I like, what are you doing, man? Go on the beacon. So now we lost the beacon. Our home beacon, if you will. Which is just horrible. Now, and that's why this kind of didn't qualify as an instant win episode. Because although it wasn't my fault, my team has somehow lost our base beacon. And so they basically turned this all, whole thing around. But you see here, it's very tanky. This... Getting this Fenrir destroyed is incredibly hard, but we're not doing the amount of damage that I would like to do uh, on the on the Fenrir with the overdrive. We already healed once, I'm gonna getting the second healing now. Uh, right there starts the second healing now, and at this point, this next Fenrir. I told you guys, I, I was gonna eat those. I was gonna eat those for breakfast, man. And by the way, thanks to the guy who told me that it was breakfast and not breakfast, which I basically said in the in the other video. He's coming under, uh, in with the next. Uh, Ravana because he can't accept the defeat that he just had a second ago but man I told you I was gonna eat those things for breakfast okay just come on bring on those Ravanas bring him on man I'm gonna I'm gonna take them all down that's okay that's why I have this Fenrir in this hangar because those stupidly annoying Ravanas uh, there has to be somebody who's, who's gonna deal with them and that's this guy all right bring him on man I'm ready for you guys <laughs> more Ravanas <clears throat> Uh, I personally enjoy the overdrive more though on the Fenrir. It's better to have the added firepower because especially against the Ravanas, you only have this very short time window to deal damage between their abilities. And um, yeah, better do double damage in that short time window, right? It's better than having more HP in my opinion. Oh, by the way, there's another uh, another Fenrir, uh, another Ravana, sorry. And this was so funny. I read a comment in the last video on the comment section. It was so hilarious. It was a guy saying, because I said, you know, I, 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 in the instant winning episode, I said I was going to eat those Ravanas for breakfast, right? And he was like, whoa, I'm, I'm having breakfast right now. I'm, uh, breakfast, I'm having some, uh, some cereals. <laughs> and then I wrote under his comment, I was like, okay, in case you offer me, like, uh, in, in, I'm right in front of him, and he's offering me some of his cereal because, I don't know, he's got some leftover or whatever. And I'm like, no, man, I'm good. I still have a couple of Ravanas right here, right? I'm just all... <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. All right, man. Let's go and walk in here with the Fenrir. And this is kind of a really, really awesome win. My team finally turned around most of the beacons, but uh, I think they still have our home beacon somehow, right? Look, and this is the damage that I'm lacking now. I, I really like this much more with the overdrive, where you two-shot kill, uh, things like that. Now, I think very soon the enemy will be spawning in with titans. Yeah, there's a titan to my left. And there is absolutely nothing I can do about the titans with the Fenrir. Uh, that's the problem, because they bypass the resistance. And this is why I have to play the Fenrir early on, before titans are on the battlefield. If I deploy too late, my Fenrir is not going to do much anymore. Um, I was testing around with the overdrive Tolumba here. I was trying to f fiddle around, fiddling around with this, trying to think... Maybe with Overdrive, the Tolumbas are going to do damage, but you know what? Tolumbas just don't do damage. Those are medium weapons, and you know what they feel like? They feel like ultra-light weapons. They feel so... They feel like they're, they're a category below light. Seriously, they, they are so bad. They're so bad. It just shows how much an old weapon versus Atomizer. Atomizer is the same category weapon. It's also a medium weapon, and it just deals at the same range, 1500 million times more damage and at ultra short range a quadrillion more damage. It's like it's like the There's not even a comparison. You can have 10 Tolumbas and you're gonna do <laughs> the same damage as one freaking atomizer or so So it's new versus old so much power creep uh, And a reason to buff Tolumbas, huh? Maybe like one of the basic thoughts ever like buff Tolumbas. Heck yeah, those things suck m so hard 
Um, but yeah, they're bad. Even with Overdrive, they don't do damage, so forget it. Never even remotely consider them. Um, yeah, but this is the video with the giveaway announced video right here. There is the uh, 200 Titan self fix um, units that you find in the Google Doc in the uh, video description and pinned comment, so check them out. And also the video in the top right, guys, if you haven't yet seen it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Until next time. Bye-bye.